friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around tonight. Sorry, and I've been a little bit negligent getting this one done for you guys. <clears throat> but I've just been busy with so many other uh, videos. Just haven't had, really had time to get this one done. But uh, I really wanted to get this review done for this one here. Uh, this is the Air Venturi John Wayne Little Duke. Uh, and it pretty, it's actually a pretty cool little BB gun. Uh, very much uh, a copy of an older style, really an older style uh, Daisy Red Rider or Daisy BB gun in general. <clears throat> and I say that because the newer ones, so th this one has the, uh, the bottle cap. And you spin that and it uh, opens your loading port. The only difference is the loading port's on the bottom here where it was on the top on the, the daisies. Now, uh, a couple people asked about the, uh, the barrel here. So the barrel, instead of unscrewing out uh, completely, uh, if it's in the part where you have it to where the port's closed, it's locked in there. But if you turn it a quarter turn, the barrel will just pull out and it actually has a A half uh, half circle there uh, sides cut off the circle so it will line up and, and go in there so but uh, that is pretty cool the way they did that but it, if you look down inside the barrel it does have an air tube just like a, a red rider or some other you know daisy bb gun and uh, the barrel goes in just that easy but uh, if you saw that uh, bottom of that uh, air tube it looks just like an older daisy <clears throat> this one doesn't have a an anti bear trap like the newer Red Riders do, <clears throat> and I do like this large. It's a large metal loop, and uh, it cocks really nice, shoots really nice. But uh, I did run some numbers over the chronograph and uh, with the the Lyman trigger gauge before I started it up, and uh, it's actually <laughs> pretty. Pretty decent as far as uh, these kind of BB guns go. Uh, let me see, I got them on the uh, other phone here. Let me pull some of that up here. So, get this one. Nope. Here it is. Okay, so I'll put that up here. But the uh, had a range of like 272 up to 279, which is pretty darn close of a split. Um, it's only like seven for a spread, average of 275, with a uh, whopping 0.8 foot-pounds of uh, energy, with a five green BB. But uh, it's just a, you know, it's just a little plinker. So, what do you expect? And then, but the thing I was really impressed by was it with the Lyman trigger gauge. And let me uh, pull that up here. Um, <clears throat> I did like a three or four pull uh, average. I'll put that up here as well, and uh, what I came up with was two pounds five ounces, which is pretty darn good for a a little plinker like this. Um, if you are at all familiar with the older and newer uh, Daisy products, that's like half the weight or better than half the weight uh, that they usually pull at. So, um, so far I'm actually pretty pretty impressed with it. Um, fairly accurate and we're going to shoot a couple of uh, test groups or just maybe a handful of pellets or BBs with it at a shoot and see across the garage here but uh, so far I've been really kind of impressed you know obviously a smooth bore uh, BB only so let's uh, maybe load up like 10 BBs and see what she'll do so you just uh, can spin that loading port out of the way cover quarter turn I would have to say definitely make sure you uh, close that back up again because if it's at the point where it's ready to come out if you fire it <laughs> that barrel that almost definitely would go flying across the garage or across to wherever you're shooting <laughs> and not the BB so there's 10 10 BBs let's see what we can do bring you guys out here see what we can do as far as uh, 
hitting that shooting sea down range here. <clears throat> Cock's really easy too. I think because it doesn't have all that drag from the anti bear trap. Just on the bottom corner of that shooting sea. That's much better. <laughs> Another guy was having some trouble with his. I don't know if it was just this was a problematic one or, or what, but he was shooting the same distance I am here. Oh, that one was off the side of the bullseye. Same place as the last one. Oh. Not doing too bad. I think I've oh, got a couple more. All of a sudden I'm going off to the left a little bit. I think that one hit, I think that one just hit the bottom of the bullseye. Oh, that was it. So anyway, not bad, I mean, from what that other guy, I can't remember who it was I was watching, did a review between this and the Red Rider, and uh, he was shooting the same distance I am, just a little over 20 feet, and uh, he could only put one BB out of, I think, 10 on the shoot and see at all from this one, and the rest, the Red Rider was like, you know, it's a very small group compared to that, but uh, I don't think that's too bad. I could, I was shooting at a tin can beforehand it's sitting up on top of my target box right now but i was shooting a tin can beforehand just playing around and i didn't miss the tin can once with it so that's all I, that's all you can ask for right <laughs> in the tin can every time but uh, there you go there is the john wayne little duke pretty cool uh a little more expensive than the daisy but they're a little harder to find too so um <clears throat> guess if they uh, would get them in the stores a little more often uh, probably wouldn't cost as much because they'd be more available to people but anyway the only if I had one complaint is that it's all riveted together so if this gun ever did need service I don't believe there's any way to to disassemble this to uh to actually do any work on it so but uh, other than that I guess it's a throwaway society we're living now but uh, it's a pretty cool gun <laughs> a lot of fun be a great kids gun um, very easy to cock you see that I can just do that with without any <clears throat> and uh, I think even a small child could do this five six year old kid could probably cock this gun pretty easily so um, and it's, it's definitely a nice short pull for for a youth a child or you know or an adult a big kid like me can uh, also shoulder it and shoot it so anyway i hope you liked the video if you did like share and subscribe uh, check out my amazon storefront link down below if you click on that and then go shopping on amazon i'll get a commission on anything you buy there help out the channel a lot um, a lot of people been using that and i really appreciate it and uh get to buy cool stuff like this when uh, I get those commission checks so anyway till next time have a great day